Today, students, we are doing part 3 from lesson 12 of the EVS 1 textbook for standard 5. Come along then. Let's continue with the lesson. Now, let's learn about the Green Revolution. Today, our country is self reliant as far as production of food grains is concerned. Self reliant means we are able to sustain ourselves. We have enough food grains. Okay, so that is called self reliant. Earlier, it was not possible, it was not so. Okay, we had to import, that is, get grains from other countries. Okay, but now India has so much food grain that it, there is extra. Okay, so self reliant. And we are also able to export the surplus. Export means sell it to other countries for a lot of money. So, this is how it, this is now made possible. And how it became possible, the tremendous increase in food grains production in our country was achieved during the Green Revolution. Okay, so what is a revolution? Revolution is where in you, you know, strive hard to, uh, you know, overcome whatever is your difficulties. So, that is called a revolution and this is called the Green Revolution. Now, let's learn about it. It was brought about by the joint efforts that is together, okay, joint efforts of scientists and people working for the spread of science and farmers, okay. So, lots of scientists came together and they did a lot of research on finding out about the various seeds and how to get better quality seeds. So, they did, they came together and did this process. And the credit that is the most important thing goes to this for the research that led to the improvement in the seeds of wheat and rice that resulted in green revolution in India goes to Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. So he is the scientist who initiated, who made this possible in our country. So the credit goes to him. Okay, so we should thank him. We should pray for him. Um, so he, it was because of his efforts that the Green Revolution was such a success. And now India is self-reliant. India is able to produce more than the demand. Okay, more than its population. India is such a vast country, isn't it? We have it so populated. But yet India is has excess food grains. And India is able to, you know, export and earn money from this production. Food security. Now, what does that mean? Now, food is our basic need. Okay. Everybody requires food. Without food, we cannot live. Many countries have made laws. Laws means rules to ensure that every person gets sufficient food according to their need. Okay. So, they have made rules in their country. They have made laws in their country to see that every person Every each and every person born in that country gets sufficient food according to their needs. Okay, so every person is given needs, and these laws are known as food security laws. Okay, so food security that means everyone will get enough food that they need. In 2013, our country that is India too enacted a food security law. So, in our country, also this law was brought into uh, existence in 2013. And it has made it possible to fight ills like malnutrition, starvation and deaths due to hunger. So, malnutrition is where the children do not get enough food, okay, do not get proper diet, they do not, are not able to, uh, you know, get food for them to live, okay. So, those are called malnutrition and starvation. Starvation is no food at all, okay. Malnutrition is when they do not get food in the proper proportion good food balanced diet food okay they will get they will eat anything that is available and starvation starvation is when food is not available at all so they they starve they they are not able to eat at all and that, because of both these things there are deaths sometimes so people can die because of hunger so therefore these laws have been brought into existence so that every person gets enough food to eat and nobody dies of hunger Agricultural Assistant Program. Okay, now let's learn about this. Now, every farmer requires so many, and you know, it requires help in so many different ways. So, through this program, farmers are given proper information and guidance about the latest technology, irrigation facilities, improved seeds, use of fertilizers and pesticides. So, all these programs, there are certain uh, associations where they will help the farmers get all the information. So, information about the various seeds, various irrigation facilities and new technology new things that have come in the market so pesticides fertilizers so all this 
information is given to the farmers and they can also get weather forecast so weather that is weather how is going to be the weather the weather they, it will rain a lot not rain not rain at all sufficient rain so when it will rain when it will not rain so accordingly the farmers can decide about their crops so they can also get weather forecast and other agricultural related information from these assistance centers so there are centers in every village so the farmers get all the assistance they need in uh, and in addition agricultural schools have also been started for farmers so there are schools wherein farmers can gain knowledge about how to grow crops what are the different methods of growing crops what tractors what machinery what are the uh, how much water does each crop require so all these knowledge is given and the farmers can learn from these schools and members of a farmers family can learn about new technology at these schools so not only the farmer but also the farmer's family also can get educated then agricultural produce marketing committees hold exhibition too for farmers so there is a committee and this is the produce and marketing produce means uh, how the crops that are grown can be marketed that is that is the, the, it can be sold to the right play, right people at the right price so these they hold exhibition for the farmers so that the farmers can display their products and the other people can know about it and they can buy it and get a the farmers will get a better price so the agricultural department of of the government agricultural universities television newspapers and various periodicals periodicals are magazines small magazines or small newspapers which come out maybe once a week or twice a week okay so these are called periodicals work for the spread of modern methods of agriculture so the agricultural department that is of the government of of the government of india of the state government also and the agricultural universities television newspapers and all these people will provide information to the farmers about various various things about farming now it is possible for all farmers to use the modern methods of to increase production and the whole country can benefit from it so nowadays farmers get a lot of information even through the internet through the public uh, through the radio through the television and the whole country will be benefited how is that because if they grow good crops they go good uh, you know uh, good crops are grown so what happens is we also are benefited so every the whole country gets benefited because of the effort of the uh, farmers do you know now let's learn about organic farming we have learned that organic farming is very very important farming through the use of organic materials okay manure fertilizers so that is called organic farming farming that relies on relies means depends on natural that is organic material is called organic farming okay so anything that you available from the nature okay directly from the nature if it is made use for farming it is called organic farming and it is a form of traditional agriculture so olden days they used to use the uh, organic way of farming so which was also very good in this method the nutritive substances in the soil are retained so soil doesn't get damaged and all the uh, you know the soil gets back its fertility it gets back all the nutritive substances and the organic pesticides used used in this method have no harmful effect on those who eat the produce so even pesticides insecticides and all that that are sprayed on the crops they are organic which are uh, got available made available from the nature itself so then even when we consume the crops our bodies are not harmed we are not harmed by it so there are no harmful effects even if if we consume it we eat it and the grain grown by this method is nutritious and also good to taste so so the taste also gets better and it is very very nutritious okay it's good for our body good for our health that is why farmers have begun to opt for opt for means go in for organic farming methods so now they have started using organic farming methods uh, so that they have now understood the harmful effects of chemical fertilizers or chemical way of farming putting chemicals and uh, chemical pesticides and all that but now they have uh, known the benefits that is the benefits of organic farming are long term so and nobody is harmed nature is also not harmed and people consuming is also 
are also not harmed and organic farming involves use of manure so we use manure manure is natural natural materials that are available so those are used as fertilizers so organic farming will use manure obtained from plants and animals that is animal dung okay and these manures consist of fish and bone meal means bones bones okay bones of animals animals excreta that is animal dung as well as decomposed remains of plants and animals okay so the dead plants dead animals are used for the organic farming and to obtain the manure always remember crops should be watered only as much as necessary so you should not over water the crops we have seen that the harmful effects of over watering the over watering leads to the salinity of the soil and the fertility of the soil also gets damaged and care should be taken when using chemical fertilizers and pesticides their overuse should be avoided so whenever you are using chemical fertilizers we should use it only when we actually need it okay or there is no other choice so we have to use it only sparingly sparingly means as much as required and we should not overuse it so what have we learnt in this lesson children there are two main agricultural seasons and they are the kharif and the rabi season using improved methods of farming leads to an increase in production so we should uh, nowadays farmers are using the improved methods and so they are able to uh, you know get a good production farmers can get information about modern agricultural technology through agricultural assistant programs so all these programs help the farmers and so uh, they are able to get good information and produce more do solve the exercise given to you at the end of this chapter as well as all the other questions given to you in between the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe this is end of part 3 for a complete lesson do watch part 1 2 and 3 you'll get the link in the description box below